In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this AI space effect by combining a website with After Effects. Hope you guys liked the preview. I thought this AI effect was really, really cool and it's really crazy how AI is just you know, developing in this speed. Everything just becomes better all the time. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it and if you guys didn't know I recently updated the TV glitch presets pack which has this CRT aesthetic TV glitch effects basically and if you guys want to check this pack out I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code you will save five dollars But now let's get into the tutorial here I'm in Kyber and I'm going to be using the super studio version Which is a pretty new feature that you added and I'm going to press just log in here and now this is what we're going to make. I'd made this before, so I'm going to just delete this now. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it from the ground. So open up flow menu here. And there's a bunch of different AI styles you can use here. These are pretty, pretty cool. I haven't actually tried them out, but I'm uh, very <laughs> excited and I uh, really want to try this out. But anyways, the uh, style we're going to be using is called video restyle. So we're going to press that one and this uh, window is gonna pop up and here is where you're going to be uh, Uploading your clip you're going to be using for this tutorial here So that's the first thing you're going to be doing now the clip has uploaded and here on subject This is basically your prompt you're going to be typing as they have on all the other AI websites out there So here I'm not the, you know the best at writing like prompts like super detailed and stuff like that I usually go very simple, you know with keywords the AI is going to be using so here I was typing space liquid you know I was messing around a little bit wanted to see what the AI was going to create and then liquid galaxies after that space planets you, get, you gotta mess around a little bit there uh, to you know get a look you guys want you guys don't need to have space it's just what i think sounds cool and looks cool and as you guys can see you can go to the settings here which is how strong the uh, ai is going to be making or transforming this video and it's at eight now and i'm going to be keeping it at eight as well and when i'm satisfied with my settings i'm going to be clicking this smile button here and it's going to start generating here now the loading is done and now you can go and download this video here so press download and we're going to be opening up After Effects here and what we're going to be doing here is basically import the clip used for Kyber and after you have imported that you're going to be importing the AI video now this is how it's going to look here and I'm going to start off by upscaling this and what you're going to be doing is basically change the blending mode here to screen and this is the effect you guys are going to be getting here if you're not satisfied you can just re-render it get a different AI looks here but I thought this was pretty cool and to make this effect even cooler you guys can add the effect from my TV glitch presets pack so I'm going to be making an adjustment layer and here I'm going to be adding effect 22 and this is how the effect is going to look and I think it looks absolutely amazing it really amplifies the effect even more and makes it yeah really cool in my opinion with this CRT aesthetic we added to it and if you guys want to check this pack out I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code it's going to be Pelle if you use that code you guys will save five dollars and you guys can also, if you guys want to add some uh, small little touches here, you can make an ad adjustment layer control Y. And here you guys can add a deep glow. I'm going to increase the radius to 500 and the exposure to 0.85. I don't want the exposure to be too strong. After that, add vignettes, angle of view, 35, and then curves. Just to increase the contrast a little bit by making this S shape here. Now you guys will get this kind of look here. And as I said, you guys can mess around a lot with the AI if you're not satisfied with the look here. If you guys like this effect, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Also, don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have amazing editing packs, just like the one I showed you guys before. Really, really cool CRT aesthetic there. And also, don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.